Welcome to CP101, and uh, this is a, well, I guess, kind of sort of like an update on the uh, Alfred E. Newman kit. Um, we've got uh, the sign uh, made for the kit. It's not glued on yet, um, because I know if I glue it on now, for sure as shit, I'll break it off. But uh, we've got it made, and I used... Um, I used a picture of a built model kit to get me uh, somewhat close to the sign as far as the size of it. it may not be exact, mine might be a little larger, a little smaller, but it's close enough. And how I did it, uh, let me get a pointer so my hand doesn't get in the way. Uh, first thing I did was print out a picture of one that's already been put together by someone else who did a super job. But as you can see, I have pencil lines drawn here and here. And this uh, allowed me to figure out the area that I needed to measure on mine to get the at least the height of the sign. Uh, so I, if you look here, the sign, the bottom of it is about even with his knee. And the top of it is about here on the sweater. Uh, like the uh, second wrinkle, just above the second wrinkle in the sweater. So I took my uh, ruler and I measured from the knee. You probably can't see it. Here, let me turn it a little bit. There we go. I measured from his knee up to about that second wrinkle in the sweater. And that's how I got the height for the sign. Now, I ended up making a sign that was a little taller than the picture so I took a little off of it in fact I took about a quarter of an inch off of it and uh, to get it uh, more rectangular mine was more square and, and as you can see here the sign is a little bit more rectangular but it, it got me in the ballpark of where I needed to make the sign and then as far as the width I, made, I took this picture kind of measured from knee to knee because from here to here is about the width from knee to knee so that gave me the width of the sign from here to here so that's the measurement I used and uh, like I said we've got our sign that I think is pretty close this is one of the original graphics to the kit I just put it in paint shop pro real quick and uh, printed it out on printer paper just to make sure that the graphic will fit the sign so uh, that's how we figured out our sign basically by using a picture of the real th of a one assembled and then just kind of measuring points in the picture to give us our measurements for the sign so that was all easy peasy um, we used styrene rod uh, we used a flat stock here and then I used uh, a uh, C channel to make the frame around the uh, sign so um, that's uh, all pretty much about it and nothing uh, you know nothing complicated just like the uh, original sign wasn't anything complicated so and then uh, for the sign post uh, we measured from here again to the knee and that gave us and I went a little higher that gave us a, a rough idea on how uh, tall to make the uh, styrene rod so the styrene rod goes all the way up behind the sign and ends at the very top here but uh, anyway that's how we did the sign uh, so that wasn't anything uh, difficult so uh, I've been uh, working mainly on the seams we've picked a pair of arms I'm going to be uh, using on Alfred we're going to be using the arms He's sticking his uh, fingers in his ears and there's a reason for that I'm not going to say you'll find out on the final of this but uh, that's the um, uh, pair of arms we're going to be using and I'll probably use Canopy 560 to hold them on uh, this one arm has one of the locks where the keys broke off that lock it uh, in place so um, I'll just use uh, Canopy 560 uh, because I'm not going to be playing with this. These other arms I'll put away. But uh, the Canopy 560 will hold the arms in place. 
don't know if this is going to stay on or not. Probably not. And then it will stay on. Uh, but I'll hold the arms in place and then um, um, if I ever want to take them off for whatever reason, and I doubt I will, but I won't damage the plastic. I could just take a blade and just kind of crack it and then the, uh, the Canopy 560 will uh, you know, just crack and I'll be able to take the arm off. I don't want to use a styrene glue because then it'll fuse the parts together and that I don't want. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, I've just been working on the seams on the sweater. I've been working on the seams of the pants and I'm not going to try to get the seams uh, completely taken out of the model kit. Um, just get it uh, softened up a little bit and uh, smoothed out so it'll cover up with paint. So I think he's about ready for uh, paint. I got maybe a little bit more work to do here where I uh, cracked the plastic under his Adam's apple. I might touch up a little bit more here uh, with my skinny stick just to make sure it's uh, good and uh, smooth because I think I need just a a little bit more uh, sanding to kind of blend it in there. I mean, I could use filler, and I still might. If I can't get it blended good, I, I might use a little bit of filler, some uh, glazing putty, and fill that, and uh, go from there because I have a chip missing out of it right here. Got a little bit of a crack, and uh, when it, you put it on this uh, sweater, you'll see that. Uh, little bit of a chip so it's right here so we have to uh, take care of that so uh, I'll probably use my uh, glazing putty just add a little bit we don't need a whole lot uh, my 3M glazing putty here and uh, fix uh, the crack on his neck and then uh, I think I'll be ready for paint um, so that's the story on Alfred and some guys say they never seen this kit before um, I don't know if I explained in the first video uh, That the kit as I said before is the original Aurora and this kit was made in 1965 And then uh, in the year uh, was it 2000 around that time period uh, Ravel came out with this kit again so that means Ravel had the Aurora molds for Alfred here. So if Ravel kept those molds and uh, kept them housed here in the U.S., that means that Atlantis is probably sitting on the uh, Alfred Newman molds. So someday we might see this guy make an appearance under the Atlantis uh, label. Well, you never know. But th that's the story on the model kit. He's only been issued twice that I'm aware of. The original issue back in 65, and then one time back in 2000. And that's why they command such a high price, uh, because um, they were only issued twice. Now, once under the Aurora label. So that's the story on um, uh, Alfred. Sorry to say Albert. Uh, Alfred. Um, we've got uh, our crew in for the Constitution. These are uh, 72 uh, road and rail workers that we got from a company called Model Power. And there should be enough now uh, to create a crew for the uh, Constitution. And um, I think we can paint these guys up and get them looking like a nautical crew or close enough to where you're not going to know. I got these from a guy called... Uh, Bob the train guy. Here's his card. So uh, we've got that. So that's all pretty spiffy. Um, what else? I think that is all I got for this update. I was going to put this out on Sunday, but my anniversary, or our anniversary, uh, wedding anniversary was. Uh, Yesterday, so my wife and I have been together for 20, total of 23 years. Uh, we've been married for 20 years, and then uh, uh, we were together for 23 altogether. So uh, we were uh, 
we went out to eat and uh, kind of celebrated. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing to write home about, but just uh, treated ourselves to a pretty good uh, meal there. So then we just came home and just kind of relaxed and relaxed, and that was really about it. Nothing earth shattering. So I didn't do any work on this yesterday. So. Uh, that's where we're at. Alright guys, um, until the next update, take care and we'll see you then.